From the moment we saw the first trailer for the American Society of Magical Negroes, it was pretty clear to most people that this would be another woke Hollywood disaster. Because quite frankly, when you get feedback like that, 44,000 downvotes to only 3,000 likes, it's probably not going to go well for you when you actually release it in theaters. And then when you realize that this entire thing, it's supposed to be a satire, but in reality, it's just a massive virtue signal that's incredibly unfunny, in which they attack white people throughout the entire fucking movie. And in reality, black people hated this thing too, because they thought it made them look like jokes. But what would the result be? Would it actually make money? Would there be an audience for woke garbage like this? Well, after the opening weekend, it seemed like we knew the answer to that. A movie that barely cracks a million dollars in its opening weekend, didn't even have plans at this point for an international release, probably not going to do so well. Well, here we are, just a few weeks later, and I didn't think it would happen this quick, but it did already. This shit show has been completely and totally pulled from the theaters. The American Society of Magical Negroes has been pulled from theaters after only three weeks. Finished with $2.4 million at the box office. $2.4 million. That's it. Look at these fucking numbers. $2.4 million domestically. Hasn't even released anywhere internationally that we can find. And already they've pulled the plug on this massive piece of shit. American Society pulled from release after only three weeks and $2.4 million intake. Only three tickets since its release, American Society of Magical Negroes has already been pulled from theaters. This audaciously titled satire already had a weird trailer before premiering at Sundance to terrible reviews, 28% on Rotten Tomatoes. And yeah, that's just from the critics. Look at what the audience thought about it. 27% from the audience. Now, when you shift that to the verified audience, the people that go through the hassle of connecting their all their apps together so they can leave their verified review, it goes up to 64%. But the funny thing is there's only 100 plus verified ratings, which means effectively almost no one actually went to see this thing. When you go to the all audience, you can see clearly only 500 ratings there, a 27%. A complete and total disaster. Maybe it was the lack of stars. The cast composed of Justice Smith, David Allen Greer, blah, 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 which does not spell box office success. Regardless, can't seem to find a budget for this one, but while researching, I was told it could have cost Search like anywhere between 15 to $20 million to produce the magical Negroes. So think about that for a second. 15, $20 million budget. Then you got marketing to factor in. What's the market out on this thing? Even if you're gonna be like conservative, say, you know, $10 million, maybe they've got $30 million invested. And they get back $2.4 million at the theaters, which the theaters get to keep half of that. This barely gave them a million dollars in actual money back to that fucking production company. And they spent probably close to $30 million on it. It is absolutely a deserved failure. When you make garbage like this, and when you disguise it in a way that's like, guys, it's just, it's just supposed to be a satire. No, it's not. This is how you think. All along the way, you said you wanted to make white people feel uncomfortable with this entire thing. Well, you made everybody feel uncomfortable, uncomfortable enough to not go to the theater. Whether you're white, black, Asian, whatever, people fucking hated it. The people that actually did give it a chance despised it. And now we have another failure on our hands. Maybe this entire idea of this audience out there that's just clamoring for stories like these. Maybe that's not true because nobody was clamoring for this. Nobody wanted it and no one saw it when it was available. And now here we are just a few weeks after release and this thing is already dead. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments section below. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.